I mean, if you're looking at the big challenges lying ahead to actually realize a 5G system, I think there are two big chunks of challenges. One is the technical challenge to actually get a coherent, heterogeneous uh, system together. And the other one is to actually to get the social setting around this, which will be much more challenging than before in the sense of getting people to accept it, to accept the security and privacy issues that lies around this new comprehensive uh, system. Because unless we get that, people will not accept it. And if people don't accept it, we will not reap the potentials that actually lie in this new development. I mean, the biggest challenge in lying ahead for, of us in the realizing 5G, I think there are two big chunk of challenges. One is the technical thing to actually make this heterogeneous thing to work. The other one is to make the social surrounding accepted by people so we'll get acceptance of this new development. I mean, the sectors that will actually be affected by 5G technology, I think is pretty much all sectors. I mean, here we see uh, for the first time a system that might deliver what we have talked about with mobile since the start. Everything will actually be mobile in the future. You will get access to everything everywhere. So in that sense, all sectors will be affected. I mean, uh, I'm involved in this because I've been working together with my uh, colleagues at Alba University with WWF for many years. And we think we here have a unique opportunity to continue our research, but also to bring awareness of 5G into the Danish surrounding where we have discussed very little also compared to other countries.